part of Hoosier country, basketball is almost a religion. And tonight, we're here in Indianapolis to celebrate what has become an unofficial national holiday, the NCAA championship. A field of 64 teams has come down to two, Florida and Michigan State. And tonight, they clash for the college basketball crown. Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to our CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA National Championship. Florida and Michigan State are set to play game 63, the final game of Tournament 2000. The winner will take this home, the coveted prize, the NCAA Championship Trophy. Back in Indianapolis, Florida about to make its first appearance in the championship game, Michigan State's second. And let's get the lineups with Jackie Bowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's NCAA's championship game between the University of Florida Skaters and the Michigan State University Spartans. Let's meet the starting lineups. At forward for Michigan State, a junior listed at 6'8 from Traywood, Ohio, number 34, Andre Hudson. At forward for Michigan State, a senior listed at 6'7 from Flint, Michigan, number 42, Morris Peterson. At center for Michigan State, a senior listed at 6'9 from Finlay, Ohio, number 43, A.J. Granger. At guard for Michigan State, a junior listed at 6'3 from Flint, Michigan, number 14, Charlie Bell. At guard for Michigan State, a senior listed at 6'2 from Flint, Michigan, number 12, Maxine Cleaves. The head coach for Florida, Billy Donovan. And for Michigan State, Tom Izzo. These two coaches, each with their mentors on hand tonight. We'll be seeing them. Florida in blue tonight. First ever time in a title game. Michigan State won in its only other championship appearance in 1979. Went over Larry Bird and Indiana State. Kelser and Magic. Urban Johnson leading the Spartans to their only title. Jim, I was there that night. There's no more electricity that night than there is here tonight. This is a special crowd. You can feel it. Yeah. You can feel it's going to be a special night. And Michigan State begins with Peterson misfiring on a three, tipped up and in by Charlie Bell. Well, do we have to go any more than about eight seconds to show what they can do on the glass? Offensive rebounding, they are superior. Bell and Hudson. Double team. Nice job by Hudson pulling it out. Granger, senior. Yes, that's a three. Wright has got to realize that Granger would rather score on the outside than the inside. Ball goes out. Peterson steps in. Granger takes it. And good for a second time, this time a two. No idea they would be chasing the championship as a sophomore. Dangerous pass. Good break. Leaves. Now, what we're seeing, Jim, is something interesting. Michigan State has not yet had to use Cleves full court to dribble the ball against the press. They're throwing right over it. But watch, Jim. We haven't seen the ball put on the floor much by Michigan State. Again, up and over they go. Cleves backs it home. They, you can see what they plan on doing to Florida. It's the best high-low game that we've seen in the tournament. Again, they break it quickly. Richardson, freshman, outside jumper goes. Dupe is struggling shooting in this dome going back to Saturday. Peterson, floater. Yes. And you see where Richardson was for the offensive top if he didn't get it. And now Nelson wants to get the Gators running, which has and, been a rare sight so far. And Jim, look at what you see for Florida. Miller, Wright, and Haslam not yet over half court. And Michigan State already back, so those guys are worn out. And Jim, they haven't maintained leads. They've extended them. Charge called against Parker. So the release was rather quick. Leaves, drives past two Gators, finds Hudson. Hudson bangs into Harvey. And another basket inside. And there's that bull strength of Cleves to break through any kind of defense. Florida has not seen that yet in the tournament, maybe all year. Stolen away 
by Peterson. So popular they had to move his high school games to a 14,000 seat arena. Swan away, Harvey. Back into the arms of Peterson for the lay and he was lucky. And who was it but Bell on the offensive glass to keep it alive? Harvey almost took it away. Oh, he is quick. Cleves, open three. Yes! Those are those that kill you. Hudson would like to get something going, but Haslam's been very solid inside defensively. Oh, what a pass, Peterson to Granger. Nelson shot way outside. Look at Cleves, yet again with a three. He looks up at the Flint faithful up here behind him just to say, I can shoot that jump. They had such a conversation last year, remember that, Jim? Absolutely. Magic's been very involved with these kids, the Michigan State program. Bell over to Richardson, and they've opened up a double-digit lead. Bell's the primarily ball handler here. Ranger gets Haslam to commit, takes advantage. Good move, Ranger having a big night with nine. Sets a screen. Being left-handed, he doesn't mind rolling off that way. Leaves tipped up and in by Richardson. Ten seconds on the clock. Shot clock, Ballinger outside, unexpected points. <laughs> you better believe it, Jim. Chappelle, a good outside shooter, but hasn't gotten the stroke going. Really packing it in here. Bell, three-point shot, back to a ten-point lead. Ballinger down there on Haslam, he can't handle it. Off the foot. And taken away. Here comes Cleves. Pull up. Why not? He's hot tonight. Mateen Cleves. Nice reach by Ballinger. Bonner open shot. Got the good look. Miller gets it back. Underneath they go. Not in time. And Bonner hurt his knee, Jim. He's down on the floor. After that jump shot got hit. Battered and bruised, the Gators will head to the locker room, down 13. And Billy Donovan went away from that rotation of five subs. Here's the man leading rebounder, Bell. Good pass, and Hudson has his second basket of the game. Leaves slicing and scoring. And a foul. Jim, what is effective against this press, unlike what every other team tried to do against Florida's press? This press looks a lot more aggressive in this half. Cleves takes middle. And untouched. He's going to take it. Three. And right. Wow, oh, whistle. Oh, whistle. That was a... Wow, you talk about trenches. Not a foul anywhere. And outside. Cleves, oh, Cleves. Must foul that he made. He hurt himself, he Jimmy. Did. He oh, really he did. hurt himself. And he's dragging himself to the bench. So we're not called. You'll see, and I said this on Saturday, Teddy Dupay does not guard people defensively. Mm. He mugs them. And there he puts Mateen down. Oh, Tom Izzo is really upset and should be. Teddy Dupay does that time and time again. Last year, the start of this season that kept them out of action for two months and 13 games. If anybody could come back, this man will, but that was some twist of the ankle. His mother, Francis. Hey, he's, I'll tell you what, though, he's walking fairly well on this thing. If any guy in college basketball can come back, it will be him because he is tough. Now, now who steps up, huh? Well, Michigan State. Who will handle the ball? Richardson's in, Chappelle is in, Anaganya, Hudson, Chappelle, top of the key three. They answer right away with it. There's a huge shot, and you saw it, Tom Izzo. Miller lost control of it, and Chappelle picks his pocket. Florida has not scored in the two plus minutes with Cleves out. Absolutely. Packing it back in is. Uh, Michigan State and Harvey, not good hands. It's haphazard with the basketball. Bell gives it up. Look at Richardson. And the follow-up, Chappelle, the former Duke player. 
leaves is on the way back. And Billy, that bench on Michigan State side has been looking and looking. And now they're starting to realize it here in the arena. It's like a heavyweight prize fighter moment. Here comes Cleves. You look over in the direction of the family. Let's see if he goes to Tom Izzo and says, Coach, put me in right away to find out if I can get it done. Cleves will be back. A thriller in Manila. That's what it feels like. That's what it really does. And Granger. And you know what? They're only going to build on that lead. The lead was six. When he left, he returns. It's nine. Aslan up high with the shot. And out to Cleves to Peterson. See, he can't turn the corner with that eight. Mo Pete for the three. Tipped up and Granger. Peterson, will he go all the way? Yes. And one. Normally, Dupe will mug a guy out there and not let him get the shot off, but Peterson just too strong for it. 1951 championship, high school championship depicted in the movie Hoosiers. Peterson. Oh boy, right up and over a pair of Gators. And we saw other teams in the tournament against Florida about this is the time when they'd be breaking physically. The team gets knocked down. Granger with a three. Seniors stepping up. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Smart play by the team to give it up. Peterson. Oh, again! Working it inside, and they're not hitting those shots. It cleaves. He doesn't handle it for long. Mo Pete to Bell, Flint to Flint, and one. And who got the rebound and dished it off to get it started? The team, please. He's having a big second half, Billy. 11 in the second half. Could it be 14? Yes, indeed. Now there is inexperience by Nelson. It's all about clock management now for Michigan State. The team can't break to the ball, but Richardson does a nice job doing so. Richardson races to the basket. Richardson. Oh, he's going to be some player. As tough as this is, the team walked by him, and Tom didn't even look at him. The team's got that big smile now. I thought for sure they'd call the timeout. Now they yes, do. They are. Now they do. Mateen is back out on the floor, Jim. He did not come out with those guys. I think that Tom Izzo wants to see. Maybe he wants the ball in his hand when this game ends. Yeah, Mateen is jumping up and down over here on one leg. Oh, he called a violation. That's That's now he can get everybody in. I think Tom wants Mateen to get I think the exit all the results. Ball in his hands. Yep, I think he wants one all the results. <laughs> Yep, he's sending guys in one at a time here, you see, so he can he can get his seniors off one at a time. This is really a great move by Tom Izzo. Congratulating guys that have been so key to his program. Well, Cleves. I've never seen this done by a coach before. Notice he's sending him in one at a time. There's Granger. Oh, there you go. They all get their own space. And here you go. One of the greatest leaders the game the college basketball has ever seen. That's a point shot marker. We'll never let go of the dream. And you can leave it to Cleves. And he's running out onto the floor. He has reinstated the magic at Michigan State.
Homes, unemployment, poverty, the troubles faced by the residents of Flint, Michigan have been well documented, but so too have the triumphs of their favorite sons, the so-called Flintstones of Michigan State. Antonio Smith, who graduated last season, was the first to migrate to East Lansing from Flint. He was here tonight to cheer on his old mates senior Mateen Cleaves and Morris Peterson and junior Charlie Bell. They all grew up within blocks of each other, played together as kids at Burston Fieldhouse in Flint, against each other in high school, and then together again as Spartans. Such is the power at times we see with college basketball, young men who bring so much hope to a town, and in their case, a town that and so much to spare. In a very real sense, we are all better for it. Just watching the tail end of their march from the playgrounds of their childhood to the national title game. There was no doubt tonight in Indianapolis as to who was the better team? And the team Cleves is the reason we're family, says Tom Izzo. They will be tearing down the nets tonight in Indianapolis with a national champion. All right, we're here with the Spartans. Yeah, head coach Tom Izzo, no one's ever outworked you your whole life, and your dream has come true. It felt like you guys were in control all night tonight. How did you do it? Well, I think we attacked their press, and, and we, we really pushed the ball up the floor, and we got some easy baskets early, and I don't know if that broke them a little bit, but these guys just did a heck of a job. We, we had four turnovers the first half. I think that was a big key. How can you describe what Mateen Cleaves did for your team tonight and how he came back after the, the ankle sprain? Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's got a heart of a lion. He's done it for four years. He hasn't done it for one, and he's done it for the whole university. And, you know, I love him because he, he he's, he's what, what our program hopefully embodies. Mateen, you said, and we o we overheard you say, leave everything out on the floor. Did that mean your ankle as well? I mean, great leadership on your part. Thanks a lot. Yeah, and I mentioned, hey, if that was my ankle, then, hey, leave it on the floor. We, all you want to do is come out here and leave it all on the floor. And tonight, that leaving it all on the floor was good enough to win. I'm just thanking God that we got this championship. How about this guy behind you? Oh, he he Mo Peterson, you had another huge second half. And as one of the seniors, how do you describe this, this tonight? Well, it's unbelievable. We're just being around the guys, doing you know, accomplishing something, knowing that we work hard. And um, I just want to thank God for putting us in, in the, for giving us this opportunity. And um, we're just happy to be here right now. How do you describe the emotion of all this? How much you wanted to come back for this very moment right here? Oh, my God. This is what I came back for right here. And it's come true. All I can do is thank God and thank everybody that stepped behind us. We love you, Michigan State. We come home, Flint. We'll be back home. We love you. How about all the family up in the stands, Lupe, all the moms and dads? It was a real family thing this year at Michigan State. Well, it really is, Jim, and, and there's a lot of them up there, and as Mateen says, you know, it's been a group effort all year. I think all, every guy that went in tonight did something. You know, David Thomas came in and made a couple big passes, and Ballinger hit a big shot. There were a lot of guys that did a lot for us tonight. Congratulations. Thanks, Congratulations to all of you. Dreams just came true. Your attention, please. To present the championship awards tonight, here is the chairman of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Committee, Mr. Craig Thompson. On behalf of the NCAA and the Division I Men's Basketball Committee, I would like to congratulate both these outstanding teams for their performance tonight and throughout the entire tournament. It is now my pleasure to present to Coach Tom Izzo and the Michigan State Spartans the National Championship Trophy. Thanks, Craig. Watch it, guys. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Billy. I think that was one of the tougher teams we played all year, and they got a lot of young guys. I know they're going to be back here again, so my hat off to Florida and Billy Donovan.
But I'd like to really take my hat off to our four seniors, because they came here four or five years ago. We made some promises. Michigan State, we answered the promises. We'll see you tomorrow back home. Yeah. The Spartans in a celebratory mood, and why not? Tom Izzo and Michigan State National Champions.